If you are in this section means you now have a brief idea of SAP and its architecture as well as the basics of accounting. You are now ready to begin the zero to hero journey in SAP FICO that is financial accounting. Now let's understand the term FICO in SAP. Normally people think that FICO is one module in SAP. but in reality it is entirely two different modules yes you heard right it is entirely two different modules they are sap fi and sap co wherein fi stands for the finance accounting and co stands for controlling sap financial accounting module is used mainly for the external reporting purpose that means of profit and loss account and the balance sheet and this financial accounting has got five sub modules such as general ledger account receivable account payable bank and asset accounting in this course we will cover each of the sub module in a very systematic way so that you can link the concept and enhance your understanding similarly sap controlling is used mainly for the internal reporting purpose It can be termed as the combination of the management accounting and the cost accounting. This management accounting helps the management to take the better decision and the cost accounting helps in the product costing and its analysis. The sub modules of controlling are cost center, profit center, internal orders, product costing and copa. Now to make you understand the difference between the financial accounting and controlling so let us consider an example here so in this example we have got a company called abc which has got the three departments that is d1 d2 d3 each has the employee number as 10 20 and 30 respectively let's say company spends around 60000 usd as expense in the form of salary to its employees So now capture this transaction in financial accounting. So we will make the journal entries as salary account debit of sixty thousand to bank account credit of sixty thousand. When we look at this from the management perspective, the management cannot identify the spending based on the individual departments by just looking at this transaction. Correct, right? Because the journal entries has only one line. As a management it would be very difficult to take the necessary action to improve the savings of the company so to perform the analysis of the financial transaction this particular entry will be taken into the controlling side and by using the controlling module we can generate the reports based on the individual department to give you an example let's consider all the employees draw the equal salary So guys, let's perform ratio and proportion for calculation. So the total expense of the department D1 on salary is 10,000 USD. Similarly for department D2 it is 20,000 USD. And when you consider the department D3 it is 30,000 USD. Got it? Guys, I hope you now have a brief idea on what you will be learning in this course. We will be learning on the financial accounting in this course covering all the major topics from the SAP consultant perspective as well as the end user. So this is the overview of SAP FICO that is financial accounting masterclass. Now let's start a learning journey in SAP financial accounting from next video.